Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In today's video, we will learn about letter, its uses, and its different types. And then we will talk about different parts of a formal letter. So let's start with what a letter is. A letter is a written message conveyed from one person to another to a medium. What is the use of writing a letter? Letter is an important means of communication at workplace as well as in our personal lives. Letters can be formal and informal. A formal letter is also known as business letter and it is written in a formal language with a specific structure and layout. An informal letter is a personal letter. You can write an informal letter to a friend, a family member, asking for something, giving an invitation, or just to communicate. Now that you know what a formal letter is, let's talk about its different parts. The very first part of a formal letter is the heading. It is written on the top of the page, in block format, and on left hand side with a margin. However, it could also be written on right hand side but in semi block format. Now that you know about the location of a heading, let's talk about its content. Heading contains return address along with the date on the last line. Now let's talk about the second part, which is the inside address. This is the address of the person or company you are sending your letter to. Remember to skip a line after the heading and before entering the inside address because it is one of the important elements in formal letter writing. Now look at the third part of the letter, which is salutation or greeting. In this part, we address the person to whom we are writing the letter. Remember that this is a formal letter, so ensure that the name is spelled correctly and use sir or madam along with the comma in the end, just as shown in the picture. Next part of the letter is the body. It is the longest part of a letter and it is further divided into a number of parts. The first one is purpose of the letter in which we write about the purpose of the letter. Just after you have mentioned the purpose of the letter, you can give some further information, but make sure that it relates to your purpose of letter. Then comes the conclusion. In this part of a letter, you have to conclude your letter by summing up all the points that you mentioned in the letter with a clear statement. Once you have winded up or concluded the body of your letter, you have to formally end your letter on a complimentary close. Be very precise and polite. If in salutation, you have addressed the addressee as sir or madam, sign off by writing yours faithfully or yours sincerely, followed by a comma. Then come the signature line. It's often recommended that leave two lines after complimentary close so that you have enough room to sign your name. Write your name and sign your letter. You can either type a letter or you can write it, but remember, you should always sign it by hand. In today's lesson, we talk about what a letter is, its uses, major types, and different parts of a formal letter. That's all for today. Jazakallah khair.